Welcome back to Rundelight Gaming. Uh, so we will be doing another video. Uh, this is actually on a game that I do like quite a bit. Uh, unfortunately I just haven't played it in quite a while. Uh, something that I still want the expansion for, though I do not currently have the expansion on it. Uh, but this is XCOM Enemy Unknown. Uh, for anyone that has not played this one, uh, when I usually tell people about this game, I compare it a lot to like your old Final Fantasy Tactics from PlayStation as far as like movement goes. Uh, there's some other factors as well um, that it adds to the game as well. Uh, but it is a fantastic game for those that just enjoy the you know strategy aspect of things. Uh, what we're actually going to do is start up a whole new account. Uh, since I do have some existing ones on here, but I do want to start fresh and play uh, completely new on here. Uh, so basically you'll have your different options like playing easy, normal, classic, and impossible. There's some additional uh, settings you can also put on here as well. Enable Iron Man. You play with a single save that is autom automatically updated. Uh, so this is something to where you can't just save the game and you know avoid any kind of problems that might come up with it. And enable tutorial which honestly I don't think we really need a tutorial. Uh, so on the, these are some other big things you can change in the game itself, which could modify the game quite a bit. Uh, damage roulette. Weapons have a much wider range of damage. Uh, new economy. So each of the council members will give you kind of a randomized amount of money, uh, depending on that particular game. Uh, not created equal. So basically everyone will start off with random stats. So basically whenever you get a new recruit, they may not actually be good, but they could also be amazing. So you'll actually pay a little more attention to the actual stats of the person itself rather than the um, just having a new person and they're all the same. And then hidden potential. Yeah, so their stats will increase randomly. So you could do like say not created equally and hidden potential and it could add quite a bit of variety just to the people that you recruit in general. Uh, it is something I don't I like to kind of play with a little bit, but this particular one I'm just going to do more of a straightforward uh, playthrough of it. I think that easy is a bit too easy, so we're not going to do that. Normal is a pretty kind of midway, which I think is pretty good. Uh, classic is still pretty difficult, and then impossible I tend to lose people more often than I choose to admit. Uh, but classic's not bad either. Usually I'll either play normal or classic depending on my mood at the time. Uh, but since it's been probably, I don't know, six months to a year since I've actually played, I'll probably just go ahead and go with normal on this one. So at the start of the game, you are going to begin by picking which uh, place you want to start off with. Like with the North America group, uh, your aircraft weapons cost 50%, as well as the aircraft itself. So this is good if you're going to have a very good uh, air force. Europe uh, costs 50% to build uh, workshops and laboratories. Uh, that can actually be quite productive as well. Uh, all projects in the foundry and the officer training school are 50% less. So this will make your stuff a little more efficient. The foundry is one of the things that I usually kind of save till towards the end really. And then officer training school is something that there's a few things in there you kind of want early. Uh, autopsies and interrogations are completed instantly. This is actually still a pretty good one, but I've never found it to be a, that awesome to where I need to really worry about it. It's something that's good to get pretty soon after you start, but... And then 30% additional funding. So Africa is usually a good route to take if you're still fairly new, or you just kind of want to ease your playthrough. So I usually like to play this one a little bit more. Uh, Europe and North America are also not too, too bad. Now, usually starting, you're going to go through and actually play just a basic mission. In this case, we're going to Nigeria. Uh, there are some alien abductions. And we're going to have to sweep the site and neutralize any hostile targets that we come across. And basically you'll get the scene every time you play though. 
So the reason why I say it's very similar to your Final Fantasy tactics sort of thing is it's actually square based. Though you may not see the squares, it's very much square based. So as you can see, if I hold down the right button, it'll kind of actually show you the grid itself. And now, oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, it should be fine because most likely we won't encounter anything. Now the half shield is uh, basically uh, half cover. The full shield is full cover. Usually when you play more, uh, much more difficult games, you're going to want to make sure that you have full cover as much as possible. Uh, half cover is still useful, but it's definitely not very ideal. Uh, we'll go ahead and just overwatch. Probably a slightly risky maneuver if they had anything close by, but I don't suspect that we're probably going to hit anything on this first turn. Usually it'll be like the turn after. So basically after our move, then it'll go to the aliens' turn, so if any of them were revealed at the time, they'll actually start moving around. Uh, so let's get him into at least half cover. Uh, I'll probably hold him for now. That way if I do want to fire after... So like in this case, if they come from my right side, then I won't actually have cover on anything, so I don't probably want to do that. I may just move him close to this guy. Because though Overwatch is still pretty good, uh, you do run the problem of having much less efficiency, or much uh, less accuracy, but you can actually shoot things as they're like moving around. So, like in this case, I have a 45% chance there and a 45% chance there. This is why I actually saved it until a little bit after. Because if I would have overwatched, they would have all shot, but they would have had a lot less accuracy in doing so. And we'll go ahead and just overwatch him since we're pretty much done with our moves at this point. So basically if they come running to where one of my guys will see him that has overwatch, he will end up shooting him, so... Now this is a very risky maneuver. We're pretty much going on the hope that they're going to come from this side. So we'll probably avoid moving any further right now. And we'll just overwatch everyone on this one. And sometimes you get these little uh, waves of sound there, and that basically just it kind of is a means of telling you where you're hearing sound from. Alright, so let's go ahead and get close here. And basically what we're going to do is prepare to go running through this door, and then shoot everything inside. More, more so, I was just hoping that we didn't actually reveal anything quite this turn. So apparently there's actually something this way as well.
And so as you can see, the accuracy does drop pretty drastically. I think it's like 10 or 15 percent or something. Now, see the cover we have, see the yellow shields here means they're flanked, uh, which is really, really kind of bad. Now, we could either push forward in hopes of taking out whoever's inside, but then we'll reveal another group. Or we could probably come down here and pursue them real quick, which may be the smarter of the two options. The only downside is I can't see the other one, so he's probably further around this van here. So, so strategically, I'm probably going to do the not as good option, so... And we're going to take half cover here. Alright, so we're going to go ahead, because another thing too is, I could actually run through a door, and he's actually going to kick it open if I do that. Or if I open it first, then it won't cause as much sound. And in some situations, that might be ideal if you're trying to actually sneak up on someone. Let's go ahead and open this door as well. Or maybe not. Okay, let's go and shoot at him. Uh, so I may just take this side here. It's still just half cover, so it's not very ideal. But if he comes running up there, then we'll at least get some sort of shot on him. So again, we're going to shoot at him as well. We really just want to take him out before we try to pursue further. So, as you can see, we did 25% chance, so it wasn't a very good possible shot. And hopefully he will... no, nope. so the overwatch failed as well. Which means one of those guys are probably going to be flanked and is going to... Okay, so he did miss at least. So I'll probably use her here in order to flank him on this one. She's out of ammo. Alright, we'll see if he can kill him. So about a 60% chance. There we go. Yeah, so I thought there was some on the northeast, but apparently there wasn't. So I was actually more so preparing to fight up there first. And this is a lot of the intro stuff, which really doesn't matter to me that much. So, 